You know what I always do when I'm getting ready for my first multi-week international trip in like five years? I set aside some time in the days leading up to it to spend hours and hours benchmarking new graphics cards that are launching. I'm just kidding, of course. Nobody has time for that. Today, the review embargo lifts for the RTX 4060 Ti 8 gig. You're probably gonna be seeing lots of videos online with benchmarks and that sort of thing. And I had the best of plans and intentions to do something along those lines as well. But like a lot of things with my channel in the past few months, it didn't quite work out. Excellent. Thermaltake's original swap fan series revolutionized case fans by adding swappable fan blades, and now they're even better with the swap fan EX, featuring magnetic connectors that daisy chain fans together to simplify installation and cable management. They're still available in black or snow trim with 12 or 14 centimeter sizes, they still feature high static pressure for use with radiators, and they still come with an extra set of reversed fan blades, easy to swap in so you can show off your fan's good side no matter where it's installed in your case. For more on the swap fan EX from Thermaltake, click the sponsor link in the video description. So I am filming this video on May 22nd and my initial plan today was to uh, come into my office here and spend as much time as I could, which was gonna be about four hours, uh, with this graphics card. Running some tests, taking it out of the box, and then we arrived at the office this morning and we discovered that the air conditioner is not working today, which I find to be quite funny because a big part of the reason why we moved into this office in the first place was because working out of my garage could get quite hot, especially in the summer months. And uh, the AC here has been pretty functional up till now. I just haven't heard from our build building management whether or not it's gonna get fixed anytime soon. So rather than exposing myself or Joe to um, uncomfortable levels of heat, because it is literally getting warmer in here as we speak, I thought, you know what, we just need to cut down on our initial coverage of the 4060 Ti. We're gonna do a quick unboxing, a first look at the card, share it a little bit with you guys, and then we're gonna cut things off because like I said, we're about to leave for Computex and we still have some packing to do. Also, there might be like even another launch happening uh, before we leave, and I have no idea if we're gonna be able to do anything for that as well. But perhaps, since we're not gonna have time to benchmark this card, I can use this as a brief moment to share a little bit more with you guys, because I've been talking about sharing more with you guys about my plans for what's been going on, the office, moving back home. And right now, with the AC not working and a stark reminder of what it was like working in my garage for quite some time, like going back a year plus, it's encouraging me that the recent decisions I've made seem to be the right ones. So we are going to be moving out of this office after one year. I don't regret moving into the office at all. It's been a great space to have and to use. But I found this year in particular, I seem to have no time to do anything. And splitting my time, uh, like not just the time doing work and making videos, but sort of that background time that you spend cleaning stuff up, getting things organized, making situations better so that when you go to use them in the future, they are in a better situation and not a big pile of garbage. But splitting that time between work on the office and work at home, has basically led to me only doing stuff to upgrade the office and a lot of stuff at home has fallen into neglect. So as I've alluded to in several videos recently, we're gonna be moving out of this office and back into my garage. But before we do that, my garage has some serious upgrades that are gonna be going on first. And I've already got a contractor lined up so we can do things somewhat professionally. I will be covering those upgrades in several videos. We're gonna do stuff like putting a finish on the garage floor, fixing up a lot of the drywall where it needs to be fixed up so it's finished a little bit nicer, doing a full paint job on the entire interior, and very importantly, doing some additional electrical work, including the installation of an electrical sub panel just for the garage so I can do testing out there without having to worry about overlapping with other circuits in the house and the installation of a dedicated mini split AC unit so that we can have air conditioning in the garage to keep things cool and also not be super loud like the portable unit was before. So getting all those plans figured out and lined up is what has been taking up a lot of my time recently, which is why I haven't been outputting as many videos as I usually do, that among a few other things. And I might still do another personal follow-up video where I talk about some of the personal things that have been going on in my life and video production and my thoughts on that. So let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in hearing that from me. But as part of this transition process, I would like to get into a mindset where I can just produce more videos. So I'd like to take some videos a little bit less seriously and just make something that I know I can make within an allotted amount of time. And that brings us back to this video because this is pretty much all that I can do today, especially since we don't have a workspace that's functional as time goes on and it gets hotter and we continue to sweat our nether regions off. So let's take a closer look at the 4060 Ti 8 gig, at least in the NVIDIA Founders Edition trim. They are still using the same packaging for this that they've used for the uh, other 40 series graphics cards, so 
maintaining consistency. Also with consistency, they have also included a 12 VH power adapter cable. Yeah, this is my first time experiencing this little guy here. Uh, this is a eight pin PCI Express graphics or PEG power connector to the 12 plus four pin uh, 12 VH power connector, which works just fine as long as you plug it in all the way. And in particular, isn't gonna have any issues delivering this amount of power. Now, my question is, given that these two plugs are pretty much the same size, Nvidia is probably just going for consistency with the Founders Edition look and everything, but really at this point with a 160 watt TDP graphics card, which is the TGP or total graphics power of the 4060 Ti 8 gig, they should have just stuck <laughs> with an eight pin peg connector. That would have been fine by me. And there, we can keep that plugged in to show it off as we take a look at the rest of the card. The rest of the card is uh, probably pretty familiar looking to you if you have dealt with Founders Edition graphics cards at all. But this is a 40 series graphics card, an ADA based graphics card, uh, just like all the other RTX 40 series is. And at a $400 MSRP, $399 US dollars, uh, this does have a lower entry level price than any of the other RTX 40 series graphics cards although there is going to be an RTX 4060 non-TI that will still have eight gigs of VRAM that is gonna be launching in July that will have a $300 MSRP or 299 US dollars. ADA GPUs are built on the TSMC 4N or 4 nanometer process. The GPU inside this one is the AD106-350. It sports 4,352 CUDA cores and a boost clock of 2.5 gigahertz. Eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory puts the memory clock at 18 gigabits per second. And that is in, on a 128 bit bus. And if there have been complaints about the 4060 series, uh, the Dash 60 series, it's that historically, if you go back, if you're looking at 128 bit bus graphics, cards that would typically be like a 50 series card like the uh, RTX 3050 for example that said the memory bus is only part of the overall performance of the graphics card so hopefully the reviews going up today are going to reveal that it doesn't hold it back too much Another thing that might potentially hold this card back though is the eight gig VRAM buffer allocation. Uh, there is a 16 gig version of this card, the RTX 4060 Ti 16 gig, that will also be launching in July alongside the RTX 4060 non-TI. So for anyone who's interested in playing some of the uh, more recent AAA titles that have come out that do uh, hog up that VRAM, or for anyone who's interested in possibly playing at higher resolutions like 1440 or even 4K, although the 4060 class card isn't necessarily aimed at 4K gaming, uh, additional VRAM will help out in those situations. As mentioned, the TDP of this graphics card is 160 watts, so it doesn't necessarily need a lot of heat dissipation from the cooler, which is why the cooler remains a two-slot solution. That also means that we will potentially see third-party designs of this card that uh, use slimmed-down coolers, two-fan solutions that might even be a little bit shorter than this one, since uh, like all the RTX 40 series cards, the PCB on this only extends out to this area right here. This area here is a pass-through for this fan to blow air across these fins for cooling. And at this point, the temperature is continuing to increase here in the office. It's getting a little bit sweltering. And uh, I wish I had some response from the property managers here at, at the office, uh, which they, they, they aren't very responsive. They don't let us know things like, hey, we're resurfacing the parking lot. So half the parking lot's gonna be unusable this week. I don't wanna digress too much about the office situation here at all, but I am, Glad that we're moving out, although again, I am glad that we've had this space for the last year because it has been a good space to work in for what it's worth. In closing, my launch day review of the aesthetics of this card, since I haven't had time to test it at all, is that it still looks very nice like uh, all the RTX 40 series graphics cards do. I do like the aesthetic design of the Founders Edition, although this is a design we've seen before. It's not necessarily tired by any stretch, but I do like that Nvidia still works and continues to work with third-party add-in board manufacturers so that we can have a variety of GPUs available for any given GPU that the card's based on, the RTX 4060 Ti in this case. To round things out for today, I'd like to say thank you for bearing with me as I go through a little bit of a period of transition. Stay tuned for lots of videos coming at you real soon because like I said, I'm heading to Computex and there's plenty of new hardware that's gonna be launched and shown off there. And because this was a fluffy and mostly useless unboxing video, I am going to go and find some actual reviews that have tested this card and post links to those down in the description in case you've had any difficulty finding them I'll at least pick some that I find were well done. So feel free to click those links and pretend that I did all that testing myself. I'm just kidding. We have an excellent tech community who does reviews uh, and I like almost all of them. Thanks again for watching this video, you guys. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Check out my store at paulshardware.net for some awesome merchandise and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming at you real soon. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.